interested in coaching? Um, just watching or watch content in general. And, sure. And I wanted to get better and and you and my recommended like a couple of months ago, so I started watching your stuff. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How long have you been playing Overwatch? Uh, since Overwatch 2 launched. Cool. What got you into it? Like, how did you find out about it? Um, <laughs> I uh, I really enjoyed Overwatch for a long time back uh, back in the day. I, I played like for a week on PlayStation because back then PlayStation Plus, like back in 2017. Mm-hmm. And after the, after that, I just loved the game. So as soon yeah. as it was it was free, I just got it on on PC. Makes sense. Makes sense. Cool. Cool. Um, now I'm looking here at your form, and you played Diva. Why Diva? What got you started with Diva? Uh, I just think uh, playstyle is interesting. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, goal four. What do you hope to get out of the yep. session? I hope to improve and hope to get mistakes hammered into my head as to correct those mistakes I make. Mm-hmm. Make. Okay. Yep. Play Diva. You play almost every day around 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. 8 p.m. Okay, so, um, so around four or five hours a day. Yeah, sometimes or more. Okay. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes I can get like 10 hours, but that's rare. Right, makes sense. Makes sense. And how is that time spent? Is that all competitive? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Do you warm up or you just jump right into competitive? It's one quick play and then I just jump it. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. Do you take breaks between games? No. Okay. I, Would, I I had a friend that took breaks when I played with him, so Okay. But makes sense. When I play alone, I don't. Okay. I would recommend taking short breaks while you're in queue, just sixty seconds. Yeah. It's something I talk about with yeah. all my students, right? I would recommend mm-hmm. at least trying to do that for the first couple of hours, especially. Just while you to keep your energy, keep away the tilt, keep the focus and so on. Uh of just course, yeah. definitely, definitely helpful. I do it even when I'm playing on stream. Even when I'm not even tilted, just helps me to keep me focused. Okay. Mm-hmm. Long-term, short-term goals in Overwatch. I don't want to beat around the bush. I want to be the best. I have a seat among the best, which is definitely a long, long road. Okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. I'm going to jump ahead. Um, you talked about being sleep-deprived and that being a big uh, yeah. Yeah. a big drawback for me. Um, so I want to talk about sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is the, you sound like this is something that you're aware of as being an issue mm-hmm. and aware yeah. of you holding you back. So when people struggle to, to action change. There's usually two reasons why one, they don't fully like believe that it's the biggest problem, right? Or they do believe, but they're just struggling to like actually make the change. Mm-hmm. So I assume that you, you believe that sleep is holding you back and you are yeah. trying to fix it. So why have you been unsuccessful? Um, I mean, or, or are you, are, are you improving things? Is it, has it gotten better in the last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, this week I've, Try to maintain like a proper sleep schedule and stuff, but what's a proper sleep schedule? It's going to bed around like eight, ten, maybe okay. uh, maybe to eleven. And okay. What time do you get up? Uh, I usually get up at like uh, six thirty because I have class and stuff. So. Okay. 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 But that that's only right now because I usually like this is very common for me. Like I usually am up all night and then. I go to class and then I go to sleep as soon as I get home. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously not the greatest thing ever. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. I, how has this week been when you tried to improve it? How did it go? Um, it's, I think it's gone a bit better. Okay. Why do you think that is? It's getting more sleep or so on or what? Yeah. Okay. Okay, interesting. But but not, not 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 that my sleep schedule is like this. I have to play at certain times. Like right. back when my sleep schedule was messed up, I could just choose when to when to play, right? But now right. I have to play at a certain time because I know that time is when my, when I'm most awake. Sure, sure. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Following some yep. sort of a soft routine. I, here here's what I would say: the the biggest feedback I can give for anybody trying to fix anything, especially anything important, is. Mm-hmm. Try to get in the habit of just making small adjustments and sticking with them over long periods of time. So okay. when you're talking about like your, your sleep schedule, I wouldn't even necessarily think about it as like fixing your sleep schedule so much as improving your sleep schedule and continuing to improve and continuing to improve and continuing mm-hmm, to improve mm-hmm. it. And knowing that at times you will quote unquote relapse a little bit, like you, things will get a little bit worse or a little bit messier. That's okay. Just continue to work at it. Continue to improve at it. Um, yeah. For you, that might be having fewer nights where you spend, stay up the whole night, right? That needs to be, mm-hmm. 
the goal for you short term is to try to make that a rare occurrence, if that makes yep. sense, right? Mm-hmm. And if that's possible, okay, then move on to the next stage. Okay, then, then making it a rare occurrence. Okay, so but now now I'm going to try to get like you know I'm going to consistently get like six to seven hours of sleep or you know maybe even eight yep. hours of sleep occasionally and just and just slowly trickle from there. Because the thing with like big changes like this is like we would love for them to be just quote unquote fixed, but mm-hmm. it, it's gonna you're gonna have a hard time sticking with it, right? So just start small, start small and be consistent with it. And over time, like you'll be able to stick with those improvements because you're able to do them more consistently. Makes sense, yeah. Um, but that would be my number one recommendation. It's like, obviously your mm-hmm. sleep right now is almost, I can promise you it's the biggest problem with your gameplay right yeah. now. It's your sleep. So you know that's the issue. So let's let's start cracking away at that. But don't try to just like, oh, snap your fingers. Sleep's fixed, perfect, right? No, it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Just small, small adjustments and stick with the small adjustments. Your sleep is so important that you shouldn't try to fix it in one time because it won't stick. So you need to do small yeah. adjustments over and over again, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Um, no. no. Okay. You say along those lines, that and game knowledge are kind of the things that are holding you back. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit as well. Um, I don't really have anything else from your form. Let's just jump into gameplay if that works for you. Okay, let's uh, shoot me a code. Yep, uh, grab. This one works. Got it. Any questions with Diva specifically, like just general stuff? Um, uh, yeah, I I watch a lot of your Diva coaching, right? So there was a thing like a matrix man uh, matrix management and stuff, like something about going in and then using a matrix before you take too much damage and stuff. Yes, and and and. I need you to like explain that to me because I try to understand it, but because I, I need to understand when I do that, right? Yeah, of course, of course. The the idea is that like the, the diva cycle kind of sort of is setting up offing, those putting out damage and so on. And then if you find yeah. an opportunity to kind of commit, you can commit, use your damage, use your missiles and so on. And then mm-hmm. while you're waiting for boosters to come back, use your matrix to buy time for your boosters to come back. And then fly out once you get your boosters back. Okay. Your matrix is kind of the glue that allows you to move from point A to point B without taking too much damage, but it also buys you time so that while, when you go for an aggressive play, it doesn't quite get the kill. Or even if it does get the kill, okay, now what? Like, well, how do I get out of here safely? Well, then matrix so that you can get your boosters back and get out safely. Yeah. If any other questions come up as we go, just let me know. Right. Like the off angle here, it's good. Good. Nobody here, so we're good. Only thing I would say here is I, I like what you're doing, but you're forgetting your missiles, that's all. Yeah, yeah. You could have used your missiles at, honestly at any time here and it would have been fine. Yeah, I, I think too much about not wasting my missiles, but... Uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's part of the balance of learning, right? Like, yeah. do too much of one thing and then you overcompensate and then you go back and you fix it. That's all right. Hmm. All right. Keep going. Now, where do you need to be right now? Uh, maybe high ground and angle. I don't know. Where? Up on the left side, maybe. You got it. Yeah. I was thinking about helping my Kiriko there, but... Right, but what helps your Kiriko? Giving her somewhere to teleport to. Of course, yeah. So if you're here and she teleports here, she's safe. Because you weren't here, she didn't have anywhere to teleport to. Yeah. See that? And then also, you're not allowed to do a lot of damage because you could have been here killing people. 
and giving your Kiriko a safe out. And said you didn't protect your Kiriko, mm -hmm. and you didn't do damage. And now you're stuck. Yeah. I don't even care what happens to us this fight, frankly. Keep going. What do you see? What are your options here? Uh, I could say maybe Anna. Maybe. Sure, could fly all the way over here, right? Or, you, or left side again, maybe. Or left side again, fly all the way over here. I love both yeah. of them, up to you. Now, I don't would not want you to fly directly to here. Why? Yeah. Uh, because then I'm in the middle of the team. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Always stay in the side. And fly aggressively here, good cover, 1v1. If they chase you over here, you'll have time. You'll have time. It takes some time to get here, so you'll have time to be able to fly out again, potentially. Same thing yeah. with here, right? Yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep. Is it cool? Coo coo okay, good, good, good. Get him out. I obviously a little... Off there, but... Yeah, yeah, and obviously the missiles as well are a little bit unfortunate as well. Yeah. But that's okay. See, I the mistake here is like even is I just just wouldn't be chasing the Reaper when he's this much HP. Yeah, yeah, I got a bit tunnel vision. Like once that. once you see here, I think I just full matrix back out and set up one of those angles that we talked about earlier. But yeah, you got a little tunnel vision. Okay. Like staying here now is, is too much. <laughs> Close. Mm. Nice. Good, yeah, good, I would, good, 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 good. I, I would usually not be going for diva bombs, but I've started to do that recently because I realize sure. sometimes I can just do it. So. Get her. Again, you're forgetting the missiles there. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. I I think I walked on her to put too much here because there's people on points still, but. Yeah, you just needed to get the kill, you know, sooner. That's it. You just you keep booping her just a little bit too far, and then obviously forgetting mm -hmm. the missiles, then you actually booped her into the mega health back. I don't know if you saw that. Um, yeah. But, but yeah. that's okay. That's okay. I still appreciate that you're doing the right thing here. And I'm zooming past this because, you know, there's not a whole lot to say here outside of nice job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep going here. Okay, then the entire enemy team shows up, so where should you go? Um, probably down. I don't down. Know. Just fall off, right? Yeah. Fall um, off, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You got it. You don't want to be here. You're just going to back up and back up and back up and back up. Ryan is way better at you at doing that, right? Mm-hmm. Probably would have bombed there, right? I yeah, don't know if I, I, I tapped out. Yeah, okay. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do something so I don't tap out, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what I want you to do with your mm -hmm. bomb. If you throw your bomb, I want you to throw your bomb from a good position. Yeah, You're yeah. here. Where could you go before you throw the bomb? Um, I could... Left side, baby. From left yeah, side. Fly here, shoot, 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 and be like, ooh, maybe they all roll away this way. Then oh, you yeah, throw your yeah, bomb yeah. from there. And the reason why that's important is it means then when you remech, you're already set up to go do more things. Mm -hmm. You see that? So set up, yeah. then diva bomb. If you want to use your diva bomb more aggressively, that's all right. I mean, a lot of people use it for remech, but this isn't this isn't a bad play. I just want you to be mm -hmm. on a better, slightly better position and then yeah, go for the bomb. Because yeah. you can make them move by you being here, and then you can chase with them the bomb. Mm -hmm. You want it so bad. <laughs> yeah. <Sure. laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Hi. Keep going. We need to be right now. Maybe left side in. You got it. Same spot as always. Get there. Let's yeah. go. Nice. Get her out. Again, you could use your missiles there. Your yeah. missiles also have a tighter spread. A uh, couple blasts, mm -hmm. a couple patches, so they're, they're a lot easier to hit now. Make sure you're using that. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Now, where do you go from here? Same, 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 same answer, right? Left side. Left keep side, wrapping, yeah. left side, right? Keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping. Yeah. I think I do something stupid here. No, not yet. Yeah. No, I mean, I you've yeah. had you've had no choice. You've had no choice mm -hmm. because of where you've been positioned. 
It's funny yeah. too because you are. Whenever I ask you, we've been we've like, that was crazy. That was super fast. What was that? Like five minutes? We looked at the entire round, right? Mm-hmm. Well, why? Because what has been the consistent issue? Uh, positioning, maybe. What about your positioning? I'm not standing where I'm supposed to be standing. Sometimes I am, but most of the time I'm just right. Most of the time you're what? I'm just standing in front of them. That's right. You know I, the poop taking angles. Sometimes you do, but a lot of times you don't. What else has I, been I, an issue? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish your thought. A lot of the time I just stand in front of them and wait wait for something to like an, an opening or something so I can get a kill or something and then I just right. Work with after that, right, but. right, right. I want you to set up those skills. So the problem with like mm-hmm. waiting for them to like do like the Reaper flank on you backline or the Moira flank and then yeah. you know some yeah. is that what if they don't do that? Yeah, yeah. You need to I've have something games, you can. I, I have had games where like I wasted all the time because I was just standing in front of them. And right, exactly, them. exactly. Create opportunities is what you need to do. You can't wait for the enemy team to make a mistake for you to get value. You need to be creating your own value in the meantime, which is about setting up those off angles. Because the thing is, it's like you'll set up those off angles and then the Reaper will take the flank and he will run into you, right? Mm-hmm. And then if he doesn't run into you, okay, fine, then you have a free access to kill backline. It's, it's mm-hmm. funny, it's like you, you at times look like you knew exactly what you wanted to do and then many, yeah. many other times you got very distracted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was Mike, also a bit tilted this game, but yeah, I mean it shows. Like that's the other thing too. It's like, okay, I know to do this. Why am I not doing that? And all roads lead back to potentially sleep. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Micro missiles. So, Keep an eye on that one yeah. too. I was a bit mad at mad at losing this game because the other tank had like five kills while I had like almost twenty. So right. I was a bit right. mad, but right. Well, keep in mind that that tank, their tank is could just probably be worse than you. Yeah. But their supports are better, or their DPS are better than your DPS and your supports. That's the way the matchmaker balances it out. And your your job is not to beat the enemy tank. Your job is to be the best that you could possibly be in that yeah, match. Yeah. Right? And that's that's what it is. So I would say uh, consistently positioning on off angles, mm-hmm. uh, your micro-missiles, and then just a little detail yeah. with, the, with the diva bomb, which I like the diva bombs. Just make sure that you're setting yourself up in a good position mm-hmm, first, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. go for the diva bomb. Yeah. Any questions so far? Um... Not really, no. Okay, we will have time for two codes here. Do you have another code? Uh, yeah, yeah. I okay, great, that. perfect. I played really bad with this round because, yeah. Yeah, well, we know why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. You know, there's no real off angle to take right now, so just pepper them down. Mm-hmm. They're gonna walk forward, and then you're gonna decide: Do I want to kind of deepen this way? Do I want to wrap around this way? You know. Mm-hmm. I will say as well, you can use your micro missiles here too. Like especially with this big of a target, even at this range, like you might as well. You know, it's a pretty low cooldown. Yeah, yeah. Just sandblast it. Like it's gonna hit. Mm-hmm. Like even like right here, like this is a this is a big body. Just dump some damage in here. Like this is actually not even that bad. Like what you're doing right now, because like mm-hmm. there's no real offing of the take. Just dump damage. That's a definitely odd habit that you have. Yeah. Now what I would say here though. Is once he's backed up to here, mm-hmm. you should be sniffing something. Where, where, where are these DPS? Where are these supports? Where are they? You ready for this? Bomb, mm-hmm. bomb, bomb. Hmm. Yeah. See it? So this Ryan is kind of, not, I wouldn't say doing his job, <laughs> but he's distracting you and the Moira, and these DPS are just going for free. Now you guys should still mm-hmm. win this because this is a three v two. Your team, but this is why I kind of said, but it's like it's not good enough for you to be oh like doing this. Like you need to be aware of like what was going on around you. So it was okay to shoot the Ryan, yeah. shoot the Ryan, shoot the Ryan. But then okay, now he's no okay. Where where are these off angles? Right? Where where do I need to be contesting this? So mm-hmm. big missed opportunity. And then then you get up close, and then what happens? Right? Yeah, yeah. Bam, bam. But he could have even pinned you here. Honestly, you probably could have died. Look at that. Mm-hmm. You're just you're getting toasted, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, this is actually a great example of everything wrong with your gameplay. Two stuck on main and micro missiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, it's the same problems. Okay. Same thing here, right? Like mm-hmm. this. This is not where you want to be. Where do you want to be right now? Uh. Another place entirely, as, as right? Saying, but. Maybe even just like come out here, you know, or yeah. maybe Force Point. But like, you, you don't want to go like Ryan Reaper. Like, oh, this feels terrible. Like, this is like Ryan. Ryan can just literally just hold down Mouse One and just kill your entire team. You could pin you. You have no counter. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't want to be here. 
This is yeah. not what makes your character strong. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Five man, four yeah. man, three man, twelve man shatter. You know, that's just yeah. a mess. Yeah. Use your mobility. Your mobility allows you to like take one v ones with things that aren't Ryan, or to force point, or to take dead. Because Ryan doesn't isn't as fast as you are. Like he can't take all these positions that he can take. That's why he's good at beating your head in because that's the only thing he can do. No. Where should you go? Uh, maybe on Cass. Right. What are they gonna do no. when you go on Cass? Uh. They're probably gonna help the cast. Yeah, they're all gonna jump in here and like go kill. Hey, kill the diva, right? So what's that gonna mean for your team up in the high ground? They can walk. Walk for free. And should you yeah. die killing the cast? No. No, you'll go. Brrr, they're gonna drop. You're gonna talk behind cover. Matrix, matrix, matrix. And then what are you gonna do next? Next step. I would go uh, high ground again. Maybe. Yeah, go high ground again. Fly away from the run, right? Or you could even fly up over here and take a different angle over here, right? Um, yeah. You have your bomb now, so you could just kind of. Not even need healing, just kind of do your own thing, right? But like basically, mm -hmm. it's like your job is to like pressure from an off angle. They all freak out and run at you. You fly away, take a different off angle. Oh, don't freak out, fly at you. And you run away and you go over here and you mm -hmm. just basically just waste their time. But every time that you waste their time, your team is getting more and more and more space. And you might get a kill while mm -hmm. you're doing this. We don't even have to, we don't even have to discuss. You know exactly what, what's going on here. Like you, you could even fly. Mm -hmm. No, actually, let, let's let's practice this. Okay, we talked about like you could fly in the cast, but what if, what if the cast wasn't here? What would you do? How could you use your mobility to create an angle? Uh, Be creative here. This is a, this is a tricky question. I don't expect you to get this, but see if you can figure it out. Hmm. Uh, I could either go down in the little opening down there, or maybe try to fly past them, like behind them. I don't know. Like like over here. Like yeah. Yes, this, this is perfect. Okay. If you fly here, you have cover, right? Mm -hmm. You have an off angle. This is great. If you sit here and shoot, are you going to be able to do a lot of damage? Yes. Yeah. So what are they going to do? Then turn on me. If they don't turn on you, they're going, they're going to die. If they do turn on you, yeah. you can live. Matrix back, 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 back. And again, you're allowing your team to walk forward, 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 forward. And then mm -hmm. you're going to flank around further, and then you're going to fly away, and, also, and, 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 and so on. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Good. I probably would have stayed on that Reaper if possible. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and and there you go. The funny thing is, this actually Zarya is a lot worse in this situation because what mm -hmm. makes Zarya worse than Diva versus the Rhine is that you it's a it's a lot harder for you to avoid him. Yeah. You can shoot him a little bit more, maybe, but you can't like mm -hmm. make him chase you around and just keep flying around, right? So. Uh, I actually think Zarya in this situation might even be a little bit worse, which yeah. is, that's the irony. So, okay, let's let's jump on in the next code. I was told to switch, so I switched. That's fine. Your job is to do what you could do to your best potential, and if you disagree with your teammates, trust your judgment, not theirs, because you're the one playing the character. Yeah. Uh... Let's do this one. I have a lot saved, but <laughs> all right, let's do it. Any questions so far? Uh, no, but I'll make sure to say 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 if something springs up. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So here's the funny part. You ready? I am mm. impressed with your knowledge. I am depressed with your execution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you, I know you've said in your forum like there was this come concern where I've watched a lot of guides, but. I don't feel like I know if I fully understand. I think you do. Mm -hmm. I don't think you fully, fully understand, but I think you got a pretty smart, I think you're smart. Show me. Show yeah. me. And ask yourself, why am I not taking these angles? And I think, you know, obviously we talked a little bit about the tilt, the sleep. Maybe it's a little bit of discipline, right? But mm -hmm. th like, this is the nature of D.Va. Like, you're playing a very difficult character. So you need yeah. to constantly be asking yourself, where do I need to be? Where do I need to be? What do I need to be doing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like, think I switched here too, actually. Yeah, well, uh, this is a hard matchup, right? Look at all the damage they yeah. have, right? It's a mm -hmm. lot of damage. Okay, so so where where do you need to be? Uh, I could go on the ash, but but at a different angle, like fo uh, poke the ash from upstairs. Yeah, maybe. you're gonna have to find a way to get close to these guys without taking too much damage, right? Mm -hmm. These guys have a lot of damage, so we're gonna have to find a way to get close. So go, right? Go right now. 
Mm-hmm. Fly here and to cover, right? Very yeah. important. You need to get close to these guys using cover. Because if you can, can you kill an Ash here? Yeah, she's gone, right? Yeah. Can you kill Ana Zen here? Honestly, you could 2v1 these guys, honestly. What about mm-hmm. here? No, you get ruined, yeah. mm-hmm. right? So how can you close the distance while taking as little damage as possible? Uh, go on the Ash. Yeah, go on the Ash, use that high ground. I like this. I like this. This is good. Yeah. Get a little healing, but don't do this. Get a little healing, get yeah. a little healing, get a little healing. Then, then, then do a sneaky. Bam! Mm-hmm. Right? Maybe even yeah. save your boosters. See what you can do. Mm-hmm. But if you stay here, you will just get melted. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Where should you end your boosters, though? I could. When I fly them, I could go over because they can't shoot me there. But Yeah. Up and over. Yeah. Hide and cover. Right? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Now, you probably should have finished the kill here. Guess how much HP he yeah. has. One XP. I would say four. Yeah. Ten. Wait, it might have been lower than that. I, I think he might have gotten lower. Yeah. Let's see. Ten. No, he got ten. Okay, so ten HP. Yeah. But yeah. That's all right. But definitely don't stand here and play patty cake with these guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Matrix to cover. Matrix to cover. And you see, you're just not quite to cover. Even if you tucked here to where only the Arisa could have shot you, that would have been okay. Because you would have been demecked, but you would have guaranteed kill her. She might actually still die yeah. here. She might still I think die. I could have, yeah. Oof, that's scary. Hmm. Good missiles. Yeah. No. But yeah, you're just demanding too many resources because you're not utilizing cover well and not closing the distance creatively enough. I'm hmm. gonna make you feel better. This is really hard for Diva. You have to be so yeah. creative and so clever. So uh, this is a lot harder than even the last game, mm-hmm. right? But there is a solution, and I want to remind you that I didn't give you the solution. You came up with the solution. Yeah. You're smart enough to figure these kind of situations out. You just need practice doing so. Yeah. And see, even here, you're thinking, oh, I got to peel the Arisa, peel the Arisa, but the Arisa's too far away. Your job is mm-hmm. to kill these guys here. Yeah. You know? You're probably dead either way, let's be honest. But, yeah. okay. But I, I could help my team with some kills there. That's it. You could help your team by making sure that it's only the Arisa they have to worry about. Yeah. And not the Ana yeah. and the Zane and the Symmetra and the Cassidy. Because a lot of times the tank is what... Is what scares people, but it's not what kills people. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, I switch here. You switch here. You see, the funny thing again is like Zara is going to feel a lot better versus the Orisa, but she's going to feel a lot worse versus the backline, right? Mm-hmm. Because you don't really have the capability of actually killing that backline. Let's uh, yeah. let's keep looking. Let's keep looking at Diva. Let's find another. Give me another code. We'll. Uh, those were the only codes where I uh, where sure. I struggled. Sure. So. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Do you want to look at some Zarya or do you want to look at some fights where you didn't struggle and you just popped off? <laughs> <laughs> we could look at that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just take one of them because I have so many. Sure. Yeah. Me, got it. Ready for battle. Okay. Once again, no questions. Um. Well, I think I questions when I'm against Tessaria because I I do do fine against Tessaria sometimes, but. If the Cyrus is just chasing me and only looking at me, it gets a bit annoying. So how do I... Yeah, it's annoying. It will always be annoying if she's chasing you. There's no way to, like, do that. But if it makes you feel any better, you'll win fights because she's just going to chase you around the map. Yeah. Um, but it, but it, it gets a bit tilting, even though I, I, I know, like, that that's not how she's supposed to be playing. But I know it gets a bit tilting. Also, like, playing against Malgrath, it like, gets annoying. Yeah, for sure. For it's sure, for constant sure. constant fire, constant fire on you. It gets really for, for sure, for sure. I don't have a solution for that. <laughs> It's annoying? Yes. I guess the solution is more mindset. The solution is more mindset, right? Like you, you, yeah. you, if you know how to play versus the Zarya and yet you're still annoyed at like her chasing you around the map, you know, mm-hmm. here, here's, here's the way I like to look at it. I, whenever that happens to me, I laugh. 
like, look mm-hmm. at this guy. This guy is so silly. He thinks he 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 thinks he's helping, but he's yeah. just throwing the team fight, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Zarya is good versus Diva. You know, like let's say you were playing on a Coliseo or something like that, where there's not a lot of high ground, at least in that first fight. Like, yeah, that that that's that's frustrating because there's not a lot mm-hmm. you can do. But on a map like let's say first point King's Row, lots of high ground, lots of ways to outplay the Zarya. So then yeah. just laugh, just be like, listen, mm-hmm. this guy's look at this look at this guy. He's chasing yeah. me backwards, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but yeah, the, more the, mindset. The thing is, the thing is, it stresses me out. It feels like if someone's just constantly like poking you, like true, on side, true, true. But really um, y- you know what it is? It's like the it's like a, having like a four year old or five year old little brother that just follows you around everywhere. He doesn't yeah. know any better. He just thinks that you're the most important thing that he's going to put his emphasis on you. He's like, mm-hmm. I'm helping. No, you're not. You just like, it, it's yeah. a little bit of stress, but it's more of like a little bit of a distraction than anything else. I wouldn't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, more mindset, more mindset. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, let's see you pop off here. Take some high grounds, take some angles, Let's see good missiles. Obviously, I don't expect you to do that perfectly because we already established that those are weaknesses of yours, but yeah. that's what we'd like to see. Mm-hmm. Get her. Yeah, I go on, yeah. But do you see there's a little bit of hesitancy? And yeah, while the, you're hesitating, and while you're that's hesitating- That's Symmetra, that's, that's definitely just Symmetra that I hesitate on. Right, but it, while you're hesitating, you walk into the open and start taking yeah. damage, taking damage, and then now look mm-hmm. at when you're going, you're already half HP almost. Yeah, but I kind of wait for like his shields to be down because I'm extremely scared of Symmetra. Sure, so then wait for his shields to be down and cover. Yeah, yeah. Right, and not standing out in the open so that when you go in, you're 600 HP and not 389. Mm-hmm. I think you know the far is right above you. Yeah, I know. I was looking for her, but... That's okay. That's okay. Get her. Eva really ruins Faro. Yeah. Nice. Your mechanics are not bad. Yeah, it, it, it looks pretty bad right now because my tracking was very off here. This no, I, no, no I, 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 think it's, I think your mechanics are okay. It's like what I'm saying. Yeah. I, think they're, I think they're all right. Cover, 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 cover. Don't take too much healing. Like here, even just like kind of just do it here instead. You know, yeah, make them yeah. make them come yeah. more into the open. You know. Mm-hmm. What I was thinking here was just like poking them. So. Sure. Kinda, but yeah. Let me show you something really fast. You were poking who? Doomfist. Yeah. Let's, uh, no, it was Torb. I think it was Torb. Let's do this. Yeah. We're about here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just be cautious. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Especially because he's not going to be not doing damage to you. He, he is going to be poking you back. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Hmm. What I was thinking like was kind of like forcing them back a little. Like Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I get that. I get that. Yeah. As long as it doesn't compromise your ability to punish them when it really matters. So let's put it. Let's put it this mm-hmm. way. Let's say you're here and you're putting pressure. You're pressure, 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 pressure back. Well, what ends up happening instead is you just lose a lot of HP. Yeah. And you lose a lot of matrix and you lose a lot of whatever. Then they can walk in and you don't have your resources anymore. Here's another question mm-hmm. as well. When you're poking here, what if instead of your Moira just throwing all of her healing on top of you? What if you were hiding and you let your Moira do damage? Who does more damage at this range? You or Moira? <laughs> Moira. Right? I, it's Moira. Yeah. It's, it's great. Like, Moira's not even that high of a damage here. Stop. Make, don't make her heal you. Let her do damage. Something to consider. Get that far. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Yeah. So I want, I want you... Thinking more about like, okay, how am I going to stage for this next fight? What angle am I going to? And then while you're thinking about that, you will become aware of what's happening around you. Remember on the, yeah. uh, the Antarctic first fight there in that second round when the Reaper Cassie were behind you? Mm-hmm. You need to work at this. And this is not, oh, I need to work on my awareness. Yeah, you need to just practice looking around you. Just either mm-hmm. set up your own flanks, right? Or to kill people who are flanking your team. Yeah. The, this was a game where people were talking, right? So I was like telling people to tell me if the fire was on them. Good. But I should just look for it myself. But. And then that's it, exactly, right? Now, how should you take an angle for this team fight? Hard, right? Uh, the building, maybe. Where? Your left, right? Uh, yeah, the bookshop building. 
fly in here, then what? Poke them here. Yeah, sneak up here. And then, heck, you could even fly in here or fly yep. in here or fly up here, right? You got options. Yeah. Yep. Got it. All right. Team is fighting. Let's go. Do it. Hmm. See it? <laughs> yeah. As far as just running around and murdering people and, and, you, and you're... Uh, Kind of tickling the Doomfist, kind of, sort of. But heck, even the Doomfist is still getting the punches that he wants, right? You're not even stopping yeah. him from doing what he wants. You gotta play to your character's strengths. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what you do. You're praying that he overextends. That's what you're doing. Yeah, that, that's pretty and, much what And I'm he was 97% an ult. Actually, he, he did this because he thought he had ultimate. Check this out. Mm. This poor guy. He thought he'd get it. You know, so he just got, it's honestly, just, he, yeah, he got a little unlucky. This is my ELO. I'm used to doing fists, just walking in on, in on, in on, in on, in on, in this time. So, uh -huh, uh -huh, so that was, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You see it? Mm -hmm. I did notice that after, but. Yeah. Because people are screaming it in the comms, but. Yeah, I don't. He's still back. Nice. I think she's still back there. Yeah, they, they called her out here and I went on her. There you go. That didn't take too long. Okay, take your next angle. Let's go. Where should you go? Probably for building and yeah, right here. Get something. Mm -hmm. Because you see, even if you chase him, he's sometimes so quick that he can just get away, right? Yeah, yeah. So like right here, as soon as you get your boosters back, let's not take too much damage. Then fly maybe up over here. Look for an angle here. You got your bomb, right? So you can make a play. Mm -hmm. Even even Barrage is not really shaking. <laughs> like, you're, you're like, yeah. well, anyway, far Barrage, anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, I did notice the Barrage. You are but... very tunneled here. Mm -hmm. Big bomb? Nice, yeah. nice. I usually nice. try to eat ults and stuff like Ilaria ult. I I constantly eat that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes I don't think about it, and so yeah. So I, I think this is definitely reconfirming kind of our suspicious earlier, our suspicions. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, earlier. So let's uh let's take our notes here. Eva, mm -hmm. what skills do you need to practice? Yep. What do you think? Uh, uh using missiles more. Yes, keep an eye on your mm -hmm. missiles. And, and consistently taking at angles. 1v1s. You were very cautious of your missiles because you were scared of wasting them, but I think now you've yeah. gone the opposite yeah. extreme. You need to experiment more with using them more for tanks and DPS and poke and 1v1s. There's a lot of times mm -hmm. when you're even 1v1ing something and you're not even using your missiles at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, be more thoughtful before the fight starts, mm -hmm. about which angle set up on for damage. Close angles, very important for D.Va. Not just long poke angles for D.Va. Mm -hmm. Avoid just standing and poking on main. And then practice awareness of enemy DPS flanks. Yep. That one will help you to position yourself better, too. Mm -hmm. Micro things as well would be micro is think about positioning on an yep. angle before bombing. Mm -hmm. So you can remac slash set up a better bomb. Those are, I think, the main things. Do you have any questions? Uh I should usually like if uh, the other tank goes my back line. I should usually just let them. Or yes, yes, okay, yes, yeah, 
you know, unless you can reach them easily, then you can mm-hmm. you can punish them, right? But if you're chasing the Doomfist yeah. super, super far away, then yeah, it's probably not worth your time. Mm-hmm. They're probably not worth your time. Take too long. It's just, it's just a, you know, a low yield of knowledge. Like, they go in and they die. That's, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's it. Okay. That's it. Because if you chase the Doomfist around and he's too far away, you're not really doing very much to him in the meantime. And then you're also, like, wasting your time, basically. It's a way to think mm-hmm. about it, right? Whereas you yeah. could just do the same to his backline if it's easy, right? Mm-hmm. Any other questions? I thought it was a good one. Um, uh, Can't think of any, don't worry, because you can message me anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't have any. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good.